So in case you were wondering what open coding and axial coding is in qualitative research, they're basically just stages of coding. They're not types of codes, although it certainly feels this way, they are just stages of coding. And another thing to clarify is that although they do originate in grounded theory, they are definitely not restricted to grounded theory research. They are being used in all sorts of methodologies, including thematic analysis or con content analysis, although usually the terminology used to describe these stages is just a little bit different. So first, open coding, also referred to as uh, initial coding, if you're doing a constructivist grounded theory research, is just a very data-driven and very exploratory in its nature stage of coding. So what you're doing, you're uh, reading your transcripts. As you're reading your transcripts, you're just uh, describing what you're seeing. So you're creating these codes that I like to call basically tags or something you can compare to sticky notes. So, so you're basically reading these transcripts, creating these very descriptive uh, codes. They're definitely not something that reflects any pre-existing uh, categories or frameworks or theories or themes. Quite contrary, they should be pretty descriptive and very accurately describing what uh, you're seeing in the data. You're just creating a very detailed, what I like to call a table of contents of your data, just a list of everything that you're seeing in your data. Because you've been so descriptive, because it's so data driven, you're likely to generate lots of codes, at least 100. It's very common to have 100, 150 or several hundred codes following that initial stage of open or initial coding. So of course, what you want to do now is to organize these codes because they're all over the place. They're very random, all sorts of topics that the participants describe, because remember, you're just trying to accurately uh, reflect what they are saying without any judgments. So now enters the second stage, which is axial coding or focus coding. And all it is, is just an attempt to organize this mess. So as you're seeing all these codes, you're just trying to think of what do they have in common? Do you, do you see a lot of codes about emotions or challenges or solutions or strategies? And if you do, you create these groups. So you organize your codes into something that's more manageable. So again, it's like a table of contents in a book. This is really all that there is to say about axial coding or focus coding. It's a stage where you organize this mess, organize your codes so that later you're in a better position to understand what your data is telling you and eventually start thinking, you can start thinking about developing themes running through your data, themes that will help you answer the research questions.